Aries, hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Intuition. It's that time of year again. It's the time of rebirth. It's cold where I am stationed at right now. And I wanted to try to get some readings out for you. So of course, as always, I start with Aries and I move backwards. Now today I'm going to start you off, I'm going to pull a one card wonder, basically, from the Kipper. And then we will move into oh, the energy that surrounds you that you may not be aware of. And that card that wanted to fall, there's obviously some sort of change happening here for you. When it comes to a relationship all right we have the lovers and we have change so we're gonna see what's going on with you and this lover <clears throat> i will pull what they're doing right now what it is that you even like about them what their problem is how they really feel about you how you really feel about them what the strength is within your connection, your weaknesses, the potential for success, the blockages, and an outcome to these energies. And I will clarify what may need be. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Approach love like a marathon. That's what my daily co-star just informed me to do. Okay. So what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck when it comes to this relationship is the tower. Okay. So something unexpected shall occur for you. All right. Let's see what your person's doing right now. Six of pentacles. They're trying to balance things out. Either with you or within the situation. I don't know. They're just trying to make things equal. So something could have turned for the worse. We do have that will of fortune. Or things could have just changed in general. There could have been an energy of good things happening. And then now you're on the downfall of things. But whatever it is, it's coming in as something very unexpected. But this person is working to make things right with you. What you like about him, Queen of Wands, you're very passionate about him. You probably <clears throat> are very attracted to them. That is your energy as well. So, you know, you could like the fact that they're very passionate with you, that they're taking action, maybe in ways that they'd never taken before, Aries. That's what their problem is, the Six of Swords. They seem to be moving in a direction here they're they're moving in a different direction possibly let's see how they feel about you the ten of pentacles they want some sort of stability with you they want to work with you on something they want to rebuild they're they're obviously trying to make things right but their problem is the way they're going about it the direction the the path that they're taking what about you you want to work with this person too. Absolutely. You do. You want to balance things out. You want to make things better. <clears throat> Your strength. The Emperor. You both seem to be uh, very much in control of your livelihoods. You're probably both very strong head of houses, homemakers, um, someone that gets the job done. Okay. So there's a very big um, stance on you're both very prominent people. You're very important individuals, and that's a strength that you carry together. And I find it interesting, you as being Aries, both of your energies are showing up here at the top. So that's very auspicious for you, because this is very much in your energy. Let's see what the problem is. The Ten of Wands, this is a situation that's very difficult 
there has been a lot of struggles for you and this person to come together, to be together. What's the potential here? Hmm. The Four of Cups. The potential here is for you not to be very satisfied. You, you don't seem to be very happy with this person. Let's see what that blockage is. It's the Nine of Wands. You seem to be repeating the same patterns when approaching this person. And that's why things could be difficult because it's like every time you approach it, you could be starting back at that same drawing board. Let's see the outcome and Ace of Pentacles. Well, that is the opportunity to make things right within this connection. But obviously things are going to have to be rebuilt again with the change that's happening here within this relationship. Let's clarify these energies for you, Aries. We do have that tower. So let's see what these unexpected events that are coming in. It's going to be very shocking for you and this person. Let's see for Aries. <clears throat> you have the Seven of Pentacles. The Empress was fell out in reverse and you have the six of pentacles and then you have the emperor okay so hmm. seems like you've been trying to build on this for quite some time with that tire energy and you're evaluating all the effort that you've put in within this relationship and you're also acknowledging who's not put that effort into this relationship. And, you know, you can't build a castle by yourself, right? And you're starting to realize that. But I feel like what's shocking here is because of the emperor energy that shows up in both of your strength, it seems like this person might be coming in to offer a new way of doing things, especially with the outcome as the ace of pentacles. So it seems like they're finally going to start to help you build upon this. They are the one bringing that energy to the table. The Six of Pentacles. Let's see it. Ooh. So there's obviously some sort of communication that's coming in here. <clears throat> it seems like they've been ignoring... Um, ignoring the situation and it was very conflicting for them but that is what's coming to an end that's why they might be showing up now is trying to help you build upon this I do see them communicating with you and it's it's because they've been very conflicted they but I think they're finally coming out of that energy where they were ignoring, you know, what they needed to do. And it's it's quite a bit of a struggle. But that is coming to an end. So whatever this conflict was that kept them kind of burdened is coming to an end. Let's see why the Queen of Wands shows up. Oh. Alright. So the Temperance and the Hermit show up in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands. A choice is being made here, it seems. Um, things were not flowing. Nobody was really looking within when it came to this situation. It was just all about passion and go and let's do this. And it felt amazing every time that it happened. But it just wasn't flowing like it should. But it may start to pick up speed. Let's see where they're going. The Six of Swords. Mm, yeah okay so where they've had this problem where they were stuck or they wasn't moving towards you they wasn't really doing anything <coughs> oh sneeze <clears throat> sorry that energy is going to change they seem to be offering you love here where they were stuck for quite some time and it's like moving in a whole different direction of you now they seem to be opening up let's see this ten of pentacles because they see you as someone that is a uh, part of their stability yep <clears throat> five of pentacles in reverse the four of swords the nine of cups they've been healing 
they've been healing themselves here, uh, whatever fear they had. They're realizing what fills their cup, what makes them feel good, and they see that as you. And so whatever had challenged you before that brought this situation to an end, that's why they're coming back in now trying to put effort into this. You want to, let's see you, three of pentacles. You want to, but you, it's you, you're having an issue walking away from this. And you want to build with this person, but you don't want to be the one to put effort into it. I see you as kind of being cold and a little detached and kind of got your guard up. You don't want to be the one that approaches. You don't want to be the one that first speaks. Um, but you still have an issue of walking away. <clears throat> Let's see why the Emperor is both in your strengths. And it showed up here. Whoa, way too many cards. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We're definitely coming out of this ending. There's something here. Hopefully the burdens and the things of the past have come to a close. And that, that feels good to both of you. Something here has come to an end. And it feels really good. And it's allowing you both to embark on this new beginning. Which also shows up in the outcome with that Ace of Pentacles. But things are still difficult. Let's see the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. Oh, Three of Cups, the Tower, and the Three of Swords. So you keep trying to make this happen, right? It's difficult for you two to come together. It's difficult for you to find that balance to rebuild this. There, And it's because of this pain that's here. Three of Swords shows up. There's been a lot of heartache that's happened between you and this person. And that's probably why you're still a little discontent. You're a little disheartened. Because you've been trying to make this happen. You've been trying to come together, rebuild this for quite some time. And that's where when you look back and you start evaluating, it was like, they're not putting any effort into this. Let's see that four cups. And this is your potential. You don't still seem to be happy in the immediate future. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, it, I feel like they could be coming at you and the immediate future here but what they're offering you isn't the stability that they actually see and since it's not the stability and what they really want within you you're not happy about it and it's because there's things that are hidden here there's things that's not been revealed yet that's why you're you're still in the unknown of things. That's why you don't, you're still not content with this person. Let's see that nine of wands. What it is that you all keep repeating over and over and expecting a different result from. The knight of pentacles, the two of swords, the star. Well, it's like you won't let each other go and you keep trying to take things one day at a time. But then you ignore what you want. And that's a repetitive cycle almost. It, that's the same thing you keep doing. It's just like, okay, today I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to ignore that I want to communicate with this person. I don't, I don't want to let this person go, but I don't, I'm going to wake up today and I'm not going to communicate with them. I'm not going to talk to them. I'm just going to ignore how I feel. And that seems to be a repetitive cycle for both of you that could create the blockage for this connection but the opportunity is coming the ace of swords the weight's over okay the weight is over okay um so the weight is over i do see I do see this person approaching you. I do see some communication as it, it, it comes in from a heartfelt place. But there's something deceptive about this. Because you're both still not really content with what the outcome is. There's, there's a lot of pent-up sexual frustration with that devil energy. 
that you uh, you need to go within here and revisit for the when it comes to that devil energy you really need to go in and you need to revisit here what it is that when you check out that evaluation you know how much effort were you putting into this okay you've been putting in a lot of effort to rebuild this and you need to understand why and what led you to that if you go within you'll you'll figure out this devil energy and how it crowds your connection and going back to that conflict of why there's a conflict between you and this person. So that's what I have for you. And as always, good luck with that.